look at all of this data and the workflow you need to manage to become a data engineer. When I started my career in data engineering, I struggled a lot. I made so many mistakes and I didn't know a lot of things when I started. But over the years, I've been working in the data engineering for the last five years. I learned so many things. And in this video, I will share you all of these different secrets that I learned so that you don't have to struggle. Let's start with the video. The first mistake that I did is that I was thinking the data pipeline in the wrong way. When I started my career in data engineering, I would simply follow the tutorials and the build pipeline exactly as shown. I didn't understand the full picture behind what is the purpose of building this data pipeline. I'll just copy paste the exact same thing and thinking that I learned data engineering. At my time, I was focusing too much on the individual components rather understanding the big picture behind building data pipeline. Data pipeline is basically the series of steps it needs to execute in order to achieve the final outcome. These steps include such as extracting data, doing some cleaning and transformation, and then loading this data to some data warehouse for the analysis purpose. The entire purpose of doing this activity is to help businesses to take the right decision. So this is what I was missing, right? I didn't focus on understanding the business side. All I was focusing on the technical side is how do I make this happen? But on the business side, what is the requirement? How can I help businesses to solve the specific problem using the data? Understanding this small thing will help you to understand and build your data pipeline in proper way. If you first focus on what the business really needs and then go on building your pipeline, it will be much more easier for you to tackle different challenges. So important things to keep in mind here is that always begin with the end in mind. So understand what the insights and output are needed. This will help you to design a proper pipeline. Understand the data lineage, basically understanding where the data is coming from, where it is going, what are the different formats. All of these things are important at the initial stage. So in simple terms, always start from the backward, what the business need, and then start building your data pipeline. Second thing is mastering SQL is non-negotiable. In the beginning, I was overwhelmed by the number of tools available in data engineering. But what really changed the game was me realizing that SQL is the backbone of data engineering. It is not just about writing SQL queries. It is about thinking in sets and understanding how to manipulate data efficiently. Structure query language is the essential tool for data engineering. It is how you communicate with the databases. You will be spending a lot of time connecting to database, writing queries, getting the data, inserting, updating records. So understanding how to write efficient SQL queries is important for your career. Some of the important steps here is that understand the basic, how to retrieve, insert, update, delete records. After that, learn about how to write the complex queries such as learn about joins, learn about subqueries, learn about window functions. These things are very important for your data engineering career. And on top of this, you can understand how to optimize queries by indexing, writing efficient queries, understanding the query execution plan. And you can also learn about the data warehouses such as BigQuery, Redshift, Snowflake. If you are interested about learning SQL for data engineering and the data warehouse, then I have a course on this. Check the description, you'll find the more details. Third point here is that automate everything. When I started my career, I will spend a lot of time doing things manually. So if I have to make any changes to a data, I will maybe open that onto Microsoft Excel, do the manual changes because that was a quick fix I could find at that time. But understanding that automation can save a lot of time just by writing the small Python script, you can automate the simple tasks so that you don't have to repeat that particular thing again and again. What used to happen is that I used to spend a lot of time doing things manually, thinking that this quick fix will help me to save a lot of time. But in the long run, I will spend so much time doing multiple things manually. So if I had automated the entire things, I would have saved so much time and also built the efficient system for processing the data. So this is very important. When you start your career, you will spend a lot of time doing things manually. But instead of that, if you just adapt the approach of automating these things, this will save your time and also reduce the human error while doing this. So the things to learn here is that at the beginning, try to automate as many as things possible. Use tools like Apache Airflow and any workflow orchestration tool that can help you to set up the workflow and automate things at the start. Key tips to remember here is that using the workflow orchestration tools like Apache Airflow or Prefect, do some script automation monitor and alerting so instead of you going manually and checking the logs and everything make sure you build the automation system that can directly give you the notification so that you don't have to go inside the system and check the logs every time number four on the list is i did not learn about the debugging initially what i used to think that debugging is only for the software engineers just like coding in data engineering debugging is a huge part Initially, I thought like if I write a data pipeline, my work is done. But data pipeline can fail due to multiple reasons like data quality issues 
or some issues with the source system. I was recently working on one of the project on the airflow and as you can see, I faced so many errors and this is very common. You are going to face issues, but learning how to debug them will make you better engineer. Debugging is not just about fixing the error. Debugging is about understanding why something went wrong and preventing them from happening again. It is a very important skill you need to learn as a data engineer because things are gonna fail. But if you know how to debug the things, then you will be able to build the robust and efficient data pipeline. So some of the things you can do here is that you can set up the logging mechanism. So based on the different steps in your data pipeline, you can write about the logging into some files so that you can easily track it. You can also use the tools like Grafna or Prometheus to help you visualize the performance and health of your data pipeline. After that, you can also implement the alerting mechanism. So something fails, you will get the alert about it and build a system to properly debug everything that is happening in your data pipeline. So these are the things you can keep in mind. And the last thing out of all of this is having the continuous learning process, right? This is very common and everyone knows about it, but no one pays attention to that. Because what happens is that once you learn something, it is very difficult to unlearn it and also learn the new things. So this is what happened, right? When I started my career in data engineering, I used to use different tools, but these days new tools are coming in the market. Even new approaches are being built. For example, uh, at my time, we used to build data warehouses and the data lakes, but these days companies are moving towards the open table format or the Delta lake. Understanding what is going in the industry and ability to adapt is very important thing because this industry keeps changing. Modern data stacks are the new tools that are trying to solve the different problems in the industry. So understanding where the industry is moving and the new tools that are coming in the market is very important. So for this, you can read docs on the medium and understand what is going on. You can also follow the data influencers who talk about the different things that is happening in the industry. This will help you to stay up to date in the industry and learn new things. So this was everything. Let me recap the entire video. The first thing here to remember is that shift your mindset for the data pipeline. So Start from the backward, understand what the business need and then start building your pipeline. Second thing, master SQL because it is one of the most important skill set you need to know as a data engineer. Third thing, automate everything. You can do some things manually, but try to automate those parts so that you don't have to do it again and again. And this will also reduce the error. Fourth thing, learn debugging because it is important to understand why something happened or why something failed. And the last, keep learning and improving yourself. You can follow this channel if you want to stay up to date with the data engineering trends. I keep publishing project videos, trend videos, opinions on these channels. So if you are interested in data engineering, then you can subscribe to the channel. It is completely free. And also like this video if you learn something new. This was everything from this video. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.